Hello and welcome. There are several ways of solving this logarithmic equation. We may decide to start by taking log of both sides of the equation. Now, of course, you know that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10, common logarithms. So when we take log to base 10 of both sides of this equation, we have log 3x to the power log 3 is equal to log 4x to the power log 4. Now, the next step to solving this equation is to apply the power rule of logarithms. That is the rule that says that we can bring down these two exponents to the front of these log terms to become multipliers. When we apply this rule to the left-hand side, we have log 3 times log 3x and on the right hand side we have log 4 times log 4x now when you look at these two of course you know that 3x and 4x are products this is 3 times x and this is 4 times x now remember that log a times b is equal to log a plus log b so that means that we can write this left hand side as log 3 times log 3 plus log x and this is equal to log 4 times log 4 plus log x now when we open these brackets we have log 3 times log 3 that is log squared 3 then plus log 3 times log x so we have log 3 log x and this is equal to log 4 times log 4 which is log squared 4 plus log 4 times log x which is log 4 times log x now let us collect like terms we are going to bring this term with the unknown over to the left hand side and take this constant term over to the right hand side when we do that we have log 3 times log x this comes over and becomes minus log 4 times log x and this is equal to here we have log squared 4 this goes over to the right hand side and becomes minus log squared 3. now you see a common factor between these two terms that is log x so let us factorize we have log x into log 3 times log x divided by log x is going to give us log 3 and log 4 times log x divided by log x is going to give us log 4 now when you look at this you're going to see the difference of two squares and you know how we factorize this this is equal to log 4 minus log 3 multiplied by log 4 plus log 3. Now we have to divide both sides of this equation by log 3 minus log 4 so that we can find log x. When we do that we have that log x is equal to now since we are dividing by log 3 minus log 4 and here we have log 4 minus log 3. Let us rewrite this. Of course, you know that we can write this as minus log 3 minus log 4. Because when we open these brackets, we have minus log 3, which is that. And then we have minus minus log 4, which is equal to plus log 4. Now here we have log 4 plus log 3. And of course, we are dividing by log 3 minus log 
4. Of course, this is going to cancel that. And we are left with log x equal to minus log 4 plus log 3. But of course, you know that to add these two logarithms, we simply multiply the arguments. So this is equal to minus log 4 times 3, which is equal to minus log 12. Now we apply the power rule. Of course, you know that this is the same thing as minus 1 times log 12. So when we apply the power rule, we take up minus 1, that is the multiplier, to become the exponent of 12. So we have that log x is equal to log 12 to the power minus 1. And of course, when you compare the left-hand side to the right-hand side, you will see that x is equal to 12 to the power minus 1, which is simply equal to 1 over 12. So we have that the value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation is 1 over 12. Now, an alternative way of solving this equation is to start by opening these two brackets. Of course, when we do that, we have 3 to the power log 3 multiplied by x to the power log 3 is equal to 4 to the power log 4 multiplied by x to the power log 4. Once more, we collect like terms. We are going to divide both sides of this equation by x to the power log 4. And we are also going to divide both sides of this equation by 3 to the power log 3. In this way, you will see that this will cancel that, leaving us with x to the power log 3 over x to the power log 4 on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, this is going to cancel that, leaving us with 4 to the power log 4 over 3 to the power log 3. But now remember from our laws of indices that when two numbers with the same base divide themselves, we simply subtract the exponents. So what we have here is x to the power log 3 minus log 4 is equal to 4 to the power log 4 divided by 3 to the power log 3. And of course, at this point, we take log of both sides of the equation. We have that log x to the power log 3 minus log 4 is equal to log 4 to the power log 4 divided by 3 to the power log 3. But of course, remember that log a over b is equal to log a minus log b. So this right hand side is equal to log 4 to the power log 4 minus log 3 to the power log 3. And when we apply the power rule to both sides of this equation, we have that log 3 minus log 4 multiplied by log x is equal to here we have log 4 times log 4 minus here we have log 3 times log 3 and of course, on the left-hand side of this equation, we have log x 
times log 3 minus log 4. While on the right hand side we have log 4 times log 4 which is log squared 4 minus log 3 times log 3 which is log squared 3. Once more we have the difference of two squares which we can factorize as log 4 minus log 3 multiplied by log 4 plus log 3. Now to find the value of log x, all we have to do is to divide both sides of this equation by log 3 minus log 4. But you can see that here what we have is log 4 minus log 3. So once more, let us rewrite this as minus log 3 minus log 4 and this is log 4 plus log 3. Now when we divide both sides of this equation by log 3 minus log 4, this is going to cancel that. And we have that log x is equal to minus log 4 plus log 3. And of course, once more, when we add these two log readings, we have minus log 4 times 3. This is equal to minus log 12. Once more, applying the power rule, we take this multiplier minus 1 up to become the exponent of 12. When we do that, this is equal to log 12 to power minus 1. When we compare the left hand side to the right hand side, we see that x is equal to 12 to the power minus 1. So we have that x is equal to 12 to the power minus 1, which is equal to 1 over so once more we have arrived at the same answer which is x equal to 1 over 12. And now to check our answer let us substitute 1 over 12 for x into the original equation. On the left hand side we have 3 times 1 over 12 to the power log 3. And on the right hand side we have 4 times 1 over 12 to the power log 4. 3 into itself is 1 and into 12 is 4. 4 into itself is 1 and into 12 is 3. So on the left hand side we have 1 over 4 to the power log 3. And on the right hand side we have 1 over 3 to the power log 4. Now let us take log of both sides of the equation. When we do that, on the left hand side we have log 1 over 4 to the power log 3. And on the right hand side we have log 1 over 3 to the power log 4. Now let us apply the power rule to both sides of this equation. On the left hand side we have log 3 times log 1 over 4. But instead of 1 over 4, we are going to write 4 to the power minus 1. And on the right hand side, we have log 4 times log 1 over 3. But also, instead of writing 1 over 3, we are going to write 3 to the power minus 1. Now, of course, you know that we can also apply the power rule to this. So when we do that, we have minus 1 times log 3 times log 4. And when we apply the power rule to this, we have minus 1 times log 4 times log 3. Now here we have minus log 3 log 4. And here we have minus log 3 log 4. And of course, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So the value of x that we calculated satisfies the equation. 
Now, before I close the tutorial, I'd like to reply to a comment I've seen in several of my videos asking why I need to do these checks. Now, I do them not because I am not sure of what I have solved, but as an exercise in evaluation of log readings. For instance, from the check, you must have learned that 1 over a to the power log b is equal to 1 over b to the power log a. So, I hope that is a good enough explanation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.